Is this the next Titanic? Is that how far this could be before we find the wreckage? It's like Titanic in a lot of ways. Will it take us 70 years or whatever to find MH370? Um, in that regard, it's a very different mystery. I think it's more challenging than finding Titanic. Because Titanic, there was a fairly known location. They were able to find Titanic as technology advanced. You know, so we, you know, it was just a matter of time. Until this photograph for 73 years, what happened when the Titanic hit bottom had been a mystery. The eventual discovery of the Titanic in 1985 turned it into a tourist attraction. Hi, my name is Stockton Rush. I'm the CEO and founder of OceanGate. Let's take a look at Titan. We are inside the submersible Titan which is a carbon fiber and titanium sub that can go to the depths of the Titanic. And so it was in June 2023, when Ocean Gate Expeditions sent a submersible to the ocean floor to explore what remains of the British ocean liner. For the five people on board, there would be no return from this ride of a lifetime. Because these are really dangerous operations, Pete. I mean, very dangerous. As the mini-sub slowly headed for the ocean floor, the outside water pressure increased. It eventually became too much for the Titan. Titan was at about 3,800 metres. That's the, the wreck of Titanic is at that depth. So you're dealing with a very remote location. Ed Cassano is the CEO of Pelagic Research Services. His team played a crucial role in locating the Titan. Unlike MH370, they had a rough idea of where the mini-sub was. We knew we were diving in the area where the submarine had been operating. So, you know, hopefully the submarine was intact and in the general area where they were last known to be. Even with a defined search area, it was still a huge challenge. You're on a very large ship, you're in the big ocean, basically, and now you have to get your equipment to the seafloor. The complications occur with depth, and depth is a challenge. Uh, we're talking high pressure, cold temperature. It is completely dark down there. Nearly four kilometers below the surface of the Atlantic Ocean, they discovered debris from the Ocean Gate sub. The mission had turned from rescue to recovery. It was extremely emotional, extremely emotional. You know, I had several moments of silence where we not only acknowledged where we were on the site of Titanic's loss, but now, of course, it was the loss of the Titan submersible and their crew as well. And it was, I, you know, I felt it was very important to uh, take the time uh, several times during the operation to acknowledge both those tragedies. Do you sympathize with the challenges that, that those folks who were searching for MH370 in an entirely different ocean had? Absolutely. Pete, one thing that I think, and there are search for Titan, that uh, when we found the, uh, the debris fairly quickly, it brought closure to, I mean, it was tragic not the outcome we wanted, but there was closure and it was closure quickly. So my, my heart, it goes out to, even today, to the, the families of the passengers on, on MH370, um, you know, for closure. 